Hello everyone and welcome to this new video series for Babylon.js. Today I'm going to talk about a new feature of the Node Material Editor that we're going to use with the particles. Okay, so without further ado, let's just dive in. All right, I have here a very simple scene where I just created a sphere. Okay, so the sphere is very small. It's right there at the center of my screen. I just want to use it to set up where I would like my particle system to be. Okay, so before even going to uh, the node material editor, I would like just to create a um, quickly a very simple um, particle system. And I'm going to show you something that is quite interesting. Okay, so let's create a new system. Uh, just note here, my um, um, function is flagged as async. So that's going to let me use the uh, uh, await keyword. So here, for any um, asynchronous function, I can use await, OK? And then I'm going to call babylon.particlehelper.create from snippet async. And here is the trick. So far, I did not create yet the uh, the particle system okay i'm gonna create it right now using the particle editor just to quickly set up something okay so there is a trick here where you can just name it blank and you're gonna see why later it's important okay so i'm gonna create like right now say it's gonna on this scene and i don't need a gpu particle system so i will just turn it off right and when the system is created <coughs> the only thing i need to do is to say that the emitter will be my sphere okay sphere so let's run that as you can see i have a already set up particle system which is very basic obviously but the interesting thing is that i can go here now in my inspector and just play with it right so you can use any property here like for instance you can set up the size the minimum size between 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 etc okay and as soon as you're gonna save it here you will be able to see that the system will generate a new id for me if in, if i click okay the underscore blank in your code will be replaced by the new one right that's very cool uh, but that was not the one i wanted to use i already set up a particle system that i'm gonna just copy past here okay and run that that way. Okay, that's the particle system I would like to play with. Again, I did the same stuff. I went to the particle editor. I set up my my uh, uh, the forces applied to my particles, the gravity and stuff to end up with this specific one. The goal of this video is actually to let you uh, see how you can use the node material editor to change the way the particles are rendered. Okay, not the dynamics of the system, but how every single particle can be rendered. So far, the particles are defined by a, um, a few set of uh, properties like the size, the color, the texture. Okay, but you can go uh, deeper than that. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna just here go and create a node material. Okay, to do that. We're going to say let not material is equal to again await because we are in a asynchronous world, so that it's perfect. Babylon dot not material dot here. I'm going to parse from snippet async. Okay. And here I would like to use a snippet from the snippet server. Okay. And that's the, the same story uh, as before. I would like to use a, a blank one first here. And I'm going to use that with the scene, which is that scene, OK? And that not material will then be used to apply on my um, particles, OK? So here, let me show you quickly um, the material I would like to use. enemy.babylon.js.com. OK. Here, I'm going to switch my system. If it's not already the case, you're going to see you may be by default on material. And if you switch to particles here, then you can see a particle uh, non material for particle system okay so i already prepare one that i'm going to just load from my downloads here okay that's what i want technically this sh material this shader is about the following stuff i have the particle texture itself okay and i have one texture which is kind of red slash orange and a gray one and what i want to do is based on the position here the y position of my particle on the screen I want to either pick the first one or the second or the second one. Okay. So as you can see in the preview right down there, I'm gonna just try to move that a little bit. Okay. You can see that they are white when they are above y equals zero and they are orange. So using one texture or the other. Okay. So that's what I came with. I am not a designer, as you can see. Uh, it's just to illustrate what I want to do with that. Okay. And then you can save it as a unique URL. Okay. 
the system will then save that to the uh, snippet server and give you, guess what, a snippet ID. So here, I can just replace this one. I could have used the same system as before, but now I can just load the one that I just created for that, okay? And you're gonna see it's very, very simple because here I can say not material dot create effect for particles. Use that for my system, which is here. And that's it. Look at that. We have a system, a particle system loaded from the snippet server that I created completely visually. I apply to that particle system a specific shader for every single particle, okay? And all of that is also coming from the snippet server. And you can see here, it's one line to load it for the system from the snippet server, a second line to load the node material, apply that node material not to a material, but just use reuse the shader and apply it to the particle system. Isn't that very powerful? I love it. It's very simple. Still, everything you need is there. If you are in your own system, you can just call the uh, inspector to create all of that, or you can just go to enemy.babylongs.com to create your own shader. I hope you liked it. Um, see you soon. Do not forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.